Hello there dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and here I am in the Waimanuchi wilderness which is startlingly grand and on the trail down there just about all I ran across were cow ladies, ladies riding horses and a guy um, jogging with his dog. So where I am right now, I think it's called the Pine River Campground. And the road down this way to this, this steep mountain pass down here actually ends abruptly in the campground. And then there's a horse trail and a hiking trail that goes along down to I'm not sure how far. I'm going to explore it another day in the morning. And parked in the parking lot are gazillion horse trailers, very large horse trailers. So I have to guess that there must be about 50 horses down that way right now. And horseback riders. And it looks like it's a great uh, um, angling spot down at a place called Emerald Lakes. And so people walk down with fishing poles and so forth. And just on the other side is a big meadow at the other side of the hiking trail. And it's all closed in. It's one of the great ranches in this, in this river valley that apparently supply the horses that people um, come and take day trips on. So it's a very picturesque place. And what do you know? Day use parking fee is zero dollars. The place where I've been sitting to talk to you, where my backpack is now, is a kind of an elevated boardwalk, which I think people stand up on in order to mount the horses that are probably um, hitched to these hitching posts here. See this hitching post here, for instance? So um, it's a handy way to get on a horse here. And behind all that are a number of other hitching rails. So you could take a whole batch of horses here and hitch them. One, two, three, four rails, five rails all together. And then proceed on down that way down the trail. See the trail gate down there? The trees here are a mixture of aspen. See that quaking aspen? Just starting to turn with the winter chill. And it looks like ha, blue spruce to me. And some kind of very tall pine tree. What kind of pine tree is that? And so, and then you have some beautiful rocks, which I'll show you pictures of soon. They seem to be just kind of plunked down here in the middle of the, the uh, meadow. Sometimes they're huge sized and they're all kind of straight edged like this one here, which was put here for a reason, I'll bet. So here's one of those giant rocks that's in the middle of a valley. A flat valley, right? Very flat. And the mountains are way over there. And here's this giant rock. I can't figure it out. How did it get here? There are two more over here. There's one. There's the other one. And here's this rock. This rock is bigger. Let me see. All right. Shoulder, shoulder high, right? Really big rock. Kind of square edges. So, so how did it get here? Was this a, like a giant glacial valley at one time? And maybe a glacier put it here. That's all I can think. One of the great mysteries. just a little bit scary when I hike alone because there are so many bear and cougar in this area that uh, that it that one has to be always on the lookout you know or else with a group of people which is better the other day I was hiking around Bayfield Colorado just in the, by the um, Pine River there might be the same river for all I know 
and uh, right there in town practically between the town and the freeway and there was bear scat right there on the trail and when I came out a lady told me to be very careful walking around because there were three bear roaming around the town no doubt black bear so out here in the wilderness Lord knows how many bear there are and how many cougar I talked to a ranger in Bayfield about it and asked him what were my chances in the wilderness and he said uh, he said the cougar much preferred to eat to eat uh, deer and elk and like that and by God's grace he said there were plenty of those around so people didn't need to worry about it very much and I think black bear it's just good not to carry food in your backpack <laughs> but here I am after my walk alive and sound so and I just have one message today and that is the light is so glorious at this fall equinox. Just so glorious. It's great to get out in the sunlight and just sit, isn't it? And I expect the light will continue for another week or two. Amazing light. Changing everything. Lifting all the darkness off of Earth, I feel. And all the dark thoughts. All the dark energies. So that she can be what she really is which is just like this, just glorious and pristine and beautiful, all in balance, all the natural world in balance. And I'm hoping by the end of the next week or two that hum humankind will also be in balance with the earth. So blessings to, to all humankind, blessings to my beautiful and beloved Gaia.